Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Twilight Zone season 1, episode 16. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to watch episodes of The Twilight Zone today because yes, I'm gonna watch two episodes of The Twilight Zone today. Two episodes from the season 1. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be great, but you can't know how nice it is in fact for me <laughs> to watch them like for those of you who are following me on Twitter, on Patreon and stuff like that you know that I had during a certain period of time which is maybe a little far from you like when you're watching this video maybe you're like wow it was one month ago something like that maybe but really for me it was just like this week that it ended all of these issues that I had with my external hard disk and all and it was difficult, it was rough, it was taking a lot of my energy, it was taking you know a lot of place into my mind and no matter what it was big issues and I did not know if I could have them back and I did not know really what was happening and at the end of the day, at the end of everything, even even if it costs me time, energy and a lot of money. At the end of everything, I have all of my files back. I'm okay, I'm glad and really like I'm, I'm feeling so more relaxed. And normally, today I should begin a new show like why am I filming these reaction videos about the Twilight Zone? You know that I'm not reacting to all of the episodes of the Twilight Zone. It's really a project that I have on my channel. When I have a place on my schedule, I'm reacting to the Twilight Zone. You know, a little like that, a little like that, a little like that. I think that it has been two years maybe that I have that project on my channel and I reacted so far to 15 episodes, something like that. So. It's a project that I continue, like, it's not like... It's really a project that I have on mind that I want to continue and maybe you're not gonna see a new reaction videos for the Twilight Zone during entire months and suddenly two, three, four episodes, something like that. Right now it's gonna be two episodes during two weeks that you're gonna have. And yes, normally I should begin a new show, but you know, I was like, after all of the issues that I had, I just want to, to relax myself <laughs> by watching The Twilight Zone. Like, I know that it can be stressful, it can be weird and stuff like that, but it's not the same for me to watch The Twilight Zone with each episode, which are different, you know, with different characters, a different story and all, and the job on them, you know, that I have to make on them, is different than beginning an entire new binge watching of a new show to involve myself really with characters, with a story, to try to understand things and all. So really, I'm taking a little break with the Twilight Zone, so I'm glad. See, all of my issues were resolved, so my body is, uh, you know, more relaxed. I need, need to begin a new show because The Walking Dead, the ones who live is gonna end soon, so I know that I need to, to begin a new show, but I need a break, you know, I need a mental break also. So Twilight Zone, it's gonna be good for that. So that's why I'm so glad to watch today two episodes of The Twilight Zone. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be interesting, like always with The Twilight Zone, like each time. I'm impressed by how much this show, and you know, all of these ideas that they put into each episode, they were so great. For those of you who are discovering my channel and this project that I have watching new episodes of The Twilight Zone with this video, I'm reminding you that yes, I'm not gonna watch all of them, you know, not at all. I'm not watching them into the chronological order, neither. I'm watching them when I want, when I have place on my schedule and which ones am I watching? I'm watching the ones who add the, the highest notes, you know, rates on IMDb. I selected the 51st episodes, you know, which had the best rates on IMDb 
and I'm watching all of them little by little when I have the time for them when I have the place on my schedule for them and yes so far I reacted to I think yes 15 episodes something like that so today it's gonna be two episodes from the season one so I think that it's even better you know really the beginning of this show Right now it's gonna be episode 16. Let's check when it was out and a little of the synopsis. You know it's better with Twilight Zone to have a little of the synopsis. The episode 16 was out in January of 1960. It's based on the radio play by Lucille Fletcher. Okay, it was teleplay by Rod Sterling and it's named The Each Eaker. Her name is Nad Adams, she's 27 years old, her occupation buyer at a New York department store, at present on vacation driving cross country to Los Angeles. Okay, and she's gonna have a minor incident on the road. That's what I understand. I don't want to read more, you know, to not have any spoilers. But yes, it was based on a radio play. Okay, okay, okay. It's fun. I know that during that period of time in the US you had a lot of radio play and stuff like that so it's gonna be fun to see the adaptation on screen even if ah, I don't know the, the radio play itself you know to, to see if I can feel that at first it was something made for the radio. Do you understand what I mean? That can be fun. And yes 1960. This episode was out in 1960. The Twilight Zone, something which is amazing with the Twilight Zone is the fact that during that period of time they already had all of these ideas and I'm seeing that even more for episodes which are based on technological stuff and all. And also after that there were references for so many other stuff like Black Mirror episodes. We watched an episode also and clearly it was an inspiration for Cube the movie. We had other episodes like that, I felt the inspiration, I felt that movies, shows were inspired by that particular episode of The Twilight Zone. It's so amazing to, to see that, to understand that, and that something which was written in 1960 was so modern, was so well, was such a good idea that years after it, you know, amazing movies and amazing shows used it, were inspired by it. I love that so much. So let's see if it's gonna be the case also with this one, with the Ich Iker. Let's go. Remember that if you aren't on my Patreon, you have an extended reaction part for these videos, meaning that I'm not playing with opacity, I'm not forced to cut that much, you know, like I'm forced to do for YouTube. I'm really letting the scene go and you have the, the real screen you know I'm not playing with opacity like I'm forced to do with YouTube and I know that for black and white shows you know and stuff like that I know that it's not that great you know for YouTube but I'm forced to do that really I'm forced to do that so if you want this reaction videos all of them all of these reaction videos for the Twilight Zone with the longer reaction part without playing with opacity and also it's a cool way to support me you have my patreon for that and you just have to subscribe to the level 2 meaning only 5 euros and you're gonna have access to all of that if you can be interested by that let's go for this episode I'm so glad, I'm so glad really to, to watch this today I'm feeling so relaxed into my body, into my mind and really it feels not like a recreation because I know that maybe it's not gonna be fun, it can be intense and all of that. But you know like uh, something new, the mood, the mood is good today, I'm into a good mood. Kilometers or? It's not a lot. Ah, miles. I don't know. I'll see if I can fix you up with a new tire. Thank you. This moment on, Nan Adams' companion on a trip to California will be terror, robbed, fear. Her destination? He came from nowhere, like... Um... I think that I would have taken him because I'm following someone. So that someone... You know, he's keeping eyes on me. Okay, 
Okay. No, right there, no. I would. <laughs> the little uh, creep. Can you see? No, nothing's wrong. I was just looking at that. Uh, that hitchhiker. Thank you very much for all your help. It's okay, Miss. Have a nice, safe trip. You have a nice car. Maybe. And really, he just broke the fourth wall, you know, by looking at us like that. He's into your mind, no? Or is he into our mind? Because we saw him and he looked at us. No speed limit? It's really you see? And they are blocking the entire road for entire hours? <laughs> what? You're occupying one part of the road and that's all. Heading west? No! No, I'm not heading west, I'm sorry. Why are you talking? And you know, you're making that sound in US? In France it's really like that. It's gonna be there. Never, 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 girl! Out, out of your car! Girl? I thought that you ate it your car, like really you love it that much that you're okay to die into it for it to not be destroyed. Like. Asking herself a lot of questions and all. I think that is into your mind. You know, the representation of her anxiety or something like that. Because the guy never talked to anyone else than her. And no one else saw him. Okay, it's been three nights now driving. Past Tennessee into Arkansas. Okay, clearly, you're also tired. That's why you're hallucinating stuff. Maybe ask for help, ask for a place to to sleep, you know? There's a very suspicious looking man there. What about this man? What was he doing? He just stands there, huh? I've been seeing this man all the time. He do anything. That's nothing to wake a man up in the middle of his sleep about. <laughs> yes, clearly, like you. Well, if he does, then you come back here and... Oh, you're not nice. Uh, you're not waiting for a crime to be committed to be worried about the girl telling you that she's afraid. At least open your house. You know? hey. Ah! What are you doing out so late? You work here? This your place? And you? And how did, did you come, you know? I'm just a little bit way down the road, but this man here won't give me any gas. I saw you come. You know you left your keys in there. Where are you headed? Back to my ship. San Diego, that's where she is. That's where I'm heading, San Diego. Oh, you're so 
You saw a cow with keys into it? He's an itchy cow, but because you know uh, the army staff, the marine staff, I'm not sure. You offering him to come with you. Lady looks like a movie star. When I tell a guy's on the ship, you know what the odds are even one guy believe me? You didn't take I one itchy you know cow off, one middle of the day when you had someone you know who could keep an eye on you. Middle of the night, you're offering that to that guy. No one knows. You're too close, like personal barriers. Did you see him? Ah, you were looking at her, so. I think so. It might be only into your mind. He's there again. To kill someone, you're okay to kill someone, girl. No place in particular, just out of sight. You all the way to San Diego, I'll drive you right to the docks, I promise. Thanks. But no. No thanks. I like you. I thought that we could be friends, and I kind of like for you to take me out. Really? You're gonna play that card, girl? With someone who was a little creepy with you? I'm sorry, oh, she was really desperate. Look, no, no matter what. Right there is a right, you know, to leave, to <laughs> to be scared of her. She just confessed that she wanted to kill a guy. That you, you never saw. <laughs> Put in the cold to my mother. So I can speak to someone familiar. Someone I love. You should have someone done that a long time ago. Familiar voice, so I won't lose my mind. Might be already done. Where's my mother? Where's Mrs. Adams? She's still in the hospital. A nervous breakdown. Oh! That was all taken place since the death of her daughter. The death of her daughter? Nan was killed just six days ago in an automobile accident in Pennsylvania. A tire blew up. No. <laughs> or oh, maybe yes. And you're already hallucinating out of that? Very odd. I did that! It's as if someone had pulled out some kind of a plug in me and emotion, feeling, fear has drained out. And you just believed it just like that. You're dead. You're a ghost. Mountains, prairies, desert. But you saw people, you talked with people. Somewhere I'll find out who he is. I'll find out. I believe you're going my way. Ma'am Adams, age 27. She didn't make it. There was a detour through the twilight zone. Is it functioning? Like, I'm really like, is it functioning? That solution that they are giving at the end, is it functioning? She died, in fact, at the beginning of her trip and everything that she lived after that was fake. You know, she never lived all of that. Or, in fact, just she was into the Twilight Zone and all of the people that she met, that she spoke to, they are also into the Twilight Zone. None of that happened, none of that existed. And she was just, you know, in the limbs, I think. Oh, my hair, I'm sorry. I think that you're naming them like that in English, you know, the, the limbs, the limbs. 
between life and death, you know? She didn't accept that she died. Okay, okay, maybe it's functioning if we are thinking about it like that, you know, she was blocked into the lamps, you know, between life and death. She didn't know yet that she was dead. You know, I'm thinking about that restaurant, I'm thinking about the guy who repaired her car. I'm thinking about the guy, you know, as the gas station, for sure I'm thinking about the marine guy. None of them were real. But except for the marine guy, none of them was weird, you know, was acting in a creepy way or anything like that. But okay, if we're considering stuff like that, it can function. I'm okay with that solution, I'm okay with that answer to explain all of what happened. And I think that it's a cool one, you know, it's a reveal at the end, because for sure during the entire episode, in fact, the solution that they are presenting is more a psychological solution. Like clearly the girl is not sleeping, they are insisting on it, so maybe she's hallucinating stuff. We have that voice, you know, her voice telling us all of that, so we can understand that she's blocked into her mind, that she has trouble to, to think like she's losing her mind a little, and also we have a lot of things really about mental health and all, about the fact that she's afraid, she's anxious, him is representing that, you know. So that's why I thought that the solution would be that because they presented me in fact that solution during the entire episode. The fact that maybe she was losing her mind because she was tired or maybe because of something else. In fact, it was her who is like that. That guy was representing fear, you know. She's all by herself. She has a lot of marks, you know, to, to do all by herself. She's afraid of someone attacking her. She's afraid of dying, something like that. Like, it could have been logical also, that solution. I appreciated, you know, the marine guy part. He was creepy as hell. I didn't like him at all, but he was also representing the fact that this guy, you didn't take him <laughs> to, to take him, to help him and all. It was into the middle of the day. Someone was taking you somewhere. So someone knew where you are. Someone knew where you were supposed to go. Someone knew you. Like, clearly that guy is a repair guy. If he wouldn't have seen you coming to his place, he would have been worried. Like, you had to come to his place. Middle of the day, you're not taking this each hiker who is asking for help. Middle of the night, you are seeing someone who is not asking you anything, but you're offering him to, to take him with you, even if you still don't know anything about that person. Why? Because he's better looking physically, because of the marine costume. Like, I appreciated that parallel, the fact that rather she was so desperate that she needed someone with her. <laughs> But also because that guy was better looking, because that guy was wearing that uniform, she trusted him directly, you know, without questioning why he was right there, why she didn't hear him coming. All of that, she didn't question anything because the guy was good looking, because, you know, peasants were good looking. It's a study, you know, it's studies, in fact, which are saying so. You have a tendency to trust them more than people who, who maybe, I don't know how to say it, not are ugly, but, you know, like, are not good looking. I don't know how to say it in another way than that. And for sure, also, the marine costume, you're gonna have a tendency to trust someone who has a uniform because it's representing the law, you know, and you are like, okay, that person is used to respect rules, you know, is representing the law, it's someone like that. You don't know, and you don't know if his entire story was real or not. Like, really, I appreciated that parallel, like, you didn't consider them, you know, the same, <laughs> clearly. But clearly also, that guy was creepy, he was too close to her, I didn't appreciate that at all. But he was right to escape when he, he could, because he had a, a woman, you know, driving, who almost had an accident with you inside, telling you that she was trying to eat, to kill a guy that you, you can't see. 
<laughs> I wouldn't have stayed, you know, into that calm manner. But now that I think about it, during this episode, with the train situation, with that situation, her train to, to kill the guy, it's two accident also situations like she could have had an accident during these moments, but in fact, it wouldn't have had any consequence because she was already dead. And maybe it was to remind her of her accident, to, to create a connection into her mind. It was because of speed, you know, that she died, that accident, that's what they are implying. I was surprised by what the guy, you know, at the restaurant said, no speed limit. Maybe it was just during that period of time, like, I was gonna ask you, really, in the US, you have parts of roads, you know, without any speed limit? Nowhere in France, like, really, nowhere in France you can find roads like that. But I think that maybe during that period of time it was the case, but... In US, I'm pretty sure that it's nowhere in US that it's the case anymore. Like, we are being really careful with security, you know, on the roads and stuff like that. Now that it can't be the case, I really hope so. I don't know if it was fast or not. I understand that she was driving fast, they're insisting on it at multiple occasions, but you know, because it's miles per hour. I don't know how many it is truly because in France it's kilometers, you know, per hour, so I, I don't have the good reference uh, if it's okay or not. Okay, 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 that was a good episode. This woman was lost for sure. I'm wondering, you know, it was based on a radio play that can explain why we had her voice telling us all of that, all of that story. I think that a radio play like that about a woman who had an accident you know, on the road and who is realizing that just at the end and you know all of this story about the gas station, about the, the hitchhikers and all of that. I think that it's good things to put on a radio play because people are gonna listen to it you know while they are driving and all. I think that it's a good thing and you know I'm thinking which movie, which show that I watched can be inspired a little by this episode because it's a lot the case with The Twilight Zone. Um, I'm thinking for sure about that movie, but it's not really the same story, you know, like uh, people arguing at the beginning and you're continuing to drive and that person is continuing to follow you, you know, to be mad at you and it's lasting for the entire movie and all. It's not truly really the same right now. Wait. Okay, the first time it was on the Orson Welles show. Okay, nothing about maybe it inspired something or not. Okay, okay. It was a good episode, I appreciated it. Tell me what did you think about it? Maybe the first time that you watched it on your own, you know, when it was out, <laughs> maybe. Or later, you know, the first time that you watch this episode, what did you think about it? And what do you think about it if it's the first time that you're watching it, that you're discovering it with me? Tell me. I'm interested by your opinion. Okay, so it's all for me for this episode. I'm gonna watch one more episode of The Twilight Zone today. Like I said, not into the chronological order, but still the season one. If you can be interested by that, you can subscribe, you know, to my YouTube channel to be sure to be there for the new episode of The Twilight Zone. And again, if you want a longer reaction part of this episode really with the scene without being cut that much into it and with full opacity, you have it on my Patreon for only 5 euros and you're gonna have access to all of the videos that I posted about The Twilight Zone, if you can be interested by that. It's all for you, for this video, and it's all for me for now, so bye for now, bye! Wait a minute, wait a minute, Doc, uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great!